What's up guys? Welcome to Hacking Studios once more. So have you ever came across the problem whereby the image transmission from the Xeon Crane 3 lab cannot get to your Samsung or Android phone? So today I'm going to be doing a small tutorial on that. I mean it's a simple thing that I did to just get it working. So I'm just gonna be going through that same process with you guys. But anyway, if you know how to update uh, your Crane 3 Lab is going to make it easier for my life. If you don't know, well, all you have to do is to have the internet with yourself and connect to the stabilizer via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and then that will do the trick. Anyway, let's get into it. So first, you need to get your stabilizer on already. I'm just uh, going to get my stabilizer on, switch it on, there it's on. Now all you have to do now is to get your camera also on, my camera is on, it's Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So let me just reduce the amount of light that is allowed to reach the camera, there we go, and uh, focus. There we go. So all you have to do now is to go on your App Store or wherever you're getting your, your apps. In this case, it's uh, Play Store for me. You go to your Play Store and you get your ZY app. Just search it. And you should get that one there. And download it into your phone. In this case, I already have it on my phone, so I'll just press Open. Of course, they have this special that they're showing for Christmas. I don't know. I'm not interested in anything for Christmas anyway. So, yeah, let me just point my camera to the camera or the phone. Yep. So, now all you have to do is to connect. In this case, if you haven't updated to version 1.9, obviously, your, your app is going to show it uh, just right above here. Then well, what you have to do now is to update your stabilizer. In this case, I already have, uh, updated it. All you just do is connect. Please make sure that you update it to version 1.9. At the moment, mine was at version 1.87. So I updated it to 1.9 and it uh, did the trick. And then you just join the, the Wi-Fi for the stabilizer. I was on my Wi-Fi. All right, and then connect. You're just gonna press that Wi-Fi and connect to your phone, I mean your stabilizer Wi-Fi. It's connected. Now all you do is you press that image transmission and that will do the trick. Now the Android phone can uh, get transmission from uh, my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Just wait for it taking too long i don't know if it's going to be working but anyway let's just uh, and there i get image transmission problem again so let's retry this i wouldn't really like this especially when you're already camera rolling let me just check my hdmi all right everything is good okay all right let's check all right yeah, let me try it again. And there you go. You can see from here that I can see the same phone that I'm shooting with from my camera. I can move my camera, obviously. Let me just show you. See, it's moving as well on the, on the phone there. And I can also record from here. So basically, I can just press record. Oh, the functionality is not working yet. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we can record from the stabilizer. I'll just press from stabilizer. All right, it's not working again. Okay, let me just check the cabling. Because obviously it does work. It's just sometimes it's just going to give you a little bit of issues there and here. But you're not to be worried with those. And then, yeah, and then finally, now it's connected. I can record from here. And then my camera is recording as well. Here is recording. 
and you can also see it from the top there that it's recording and it's just recording the video like from the same phone so basically i'm using the samsung to shoot this back and yeah uh you know what to do if you like the video like it comment subscribe ask me any question that you have and i will just make sure that i be quick to answer your questions and uh let's help each other grow this channel i'm planning on doing davinci resolve tutorials and small behind the scenes when i will shoot the music videos in uh, in studios so please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned with more information and stuff that uh, Hutting Studios has to offer. So anyway, you can see I'm just going through. Obviously, there is more noise here because I increased my ISO, which I can reduce as well from the stabilizer, you know. So let me just show you. Work around my ISO and you can see there is darkening. For my ISO, I can increase my ISO from my stabilizer, of course. You see that? I believe on the phone you can also see it. See, it's getting brighter, it's getting darker. As yes, I'm going to the smallest ISO, so I'm on ISO 100, and uh, you can see it from uh, the stabilizer uh, from your phone as well. So basically, you can do a lot of things uh, with this uh, stabilizer, and I like it for that, as well as the image transmission. I mean, it saved me from buying the HDR that I was planning to buy to use with this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera because, you know, the display at the back is not flexible. So this is, uh, I mean, you can also charge your phone from the stabilizer, obviously, so that your phone doesn't drain out while you are shooting your videos. And that's, that's a kill for me. And this suggests that you buy it if you own Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. I mean, I haven't had problems with it except for overheating. But anyway, long story short, if you have questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll make sure that I reply to them as quick as possible. It's her in studios. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, share this video with other people that may be interested in knowing this information anyway. And thank you.